All right, number three, uh, and this one is actually not, probably not how it would be worded in the actual exam uh, because it would probably be part of a more complicated question, but I wanted to keep it sort of reasonable and simple so we could just have a quick discussion about it here. Uh, number three, the preliminary design suggests that there will need, there will be a need for a parking lot of 36 spaces. Uh, essentially, how many square feet uh, will a parking lot take up? So you have to have a pretty sort of nimble sense of, well, how big is a parking lot? Uh, and the easy answer, the sort of easy way to think about this is that parking lots are generally, you'll hear people refer to this as, some will say as low as say 300 square feet per parking lot, per parking space, uh, up to about 400 square feet per parking space. The number that I always use is 350. Uh, not everybody will, you, you'll see some guidebooks will say a little lower, a little higher. The reason there's such a range there is it kind of depends on what you mean by the parking lot. Do you, are you including the drives that go up to it? Are you including landscape areas that are required by most of the codes these days to provide a little buffer so you're not, it's not a sea of parking, but there's like a tree every once in a while? Are you including, uh, you know, extra spaces for uh, handicapped uh, spaces, things like that? Uh, so if you're bare bones, just the, the tightest possible thing, well, that's probably going to be about the 300 square foot per. If you've got a kind of complicated site, you've got to get to the parking lot, and you've got a, some landscaping requirements, and you've got a sort of unusual moment where it turns a little, you know, well, then it's going to be closer to the 400. I think the 350 gets you right about there. Most guidebooks will tell you 350, but like I said, it's a bit of a range. So you multiply 350 times 36, you're going to get A, 12,600 12, square feet. The other way you could figure this out is, well, how big is a parking lot, right? So uh, what do we know about parking lots? Well, we've got 36 spaces. So a typical parking lot would give us 18 on each side. Let's assume that's 18. It's not, but let's say it's 18. Uh, so we've got 18 and 18. That means this is going to be 18 times 9 feet. It's possible that it might be 8 foot 6, depending on the zoning analysis. It might be, uh, there's a couple of other possibilities. Uh, but 9 foot is sort of a typical and straightforward number to use. So you could multiply that out. Uh, and then the other number you would be interested in would be the other direction here, which would be 19 feet for the length of the car parking space. and. 24 feet for the drive aisle, which means that that entire thing becomes 62 feet. So I usually say this is somewhere between 60 and 64 feet. So very quickly, you can figure out how big this is, even if you don't remember these numbers. Uh, it's actually really important for you to be able to translate something like 36 parking spaces or 152 parking spaces or whatever it is into actual square footages because you need to be able to dance back and forth so that you can look at a site plan and say, yes, this, this parking lot will fit here. Or you can uh, kind of uh, make quick decisions without having to design something right off the bat. Like I drew this all out, but you should have been able to get to 62 feet right off the bat because that's a standard and just know that it's 18 times nine. You didn't even have to draw it. You could just list it. And then you leave yourself enough space for the drive aisles and all the other things that you have to do. Uh, so that would come out, this would, the way that we just did it, would come out relatively close to the 300, and then you add a bit more, and that's the extra 50 for all those drive, drive aisles and things like that. So being able to flip back and forth quickly and easily uh, is a very useful thing for this exam.